please make some noise for Feminist Stacy. Here she comes right now. Oh, feminist. Okay. Settle up. Stace, take a seat, will you? Take a seat. I'll get in the middle here. Take a seat. Okay. Just, it's not my fault. I'm just a dude on the show, okay? So whatever you're going to do to me or say to me, it's not my fault. Blame Knoxville. Okay, Will. Will. Wow. Only one woman in the jackass history? Really? <laughs> Only one in over 24 years? Oh, I've been the show for 24 years, you just got one woman. Don't you think there should be more women on Jackass? He makes a good point. To be fair, to be fair, we had a woman on Jackass 22 years ago, and she broke her back. And that's real. And nobody ever heard about that, because women are silenced constantly. Yeah, we did have to silence that. You're right. That was... Uh, Oh, hashtag lawsuit. Okay. It's kind of not a good look for us back for then. For sure. We'll keep it right here. Now, um, <laughs> Stace, uh, appreciate you coming uh, back on the show. You've been on the Dr. Phil. Yeah, one more time for Feminist Stacey, huh? For, for dressing up. You look like you are a roadie for the Chuck E. Cheese animatronic animal band. <laughs> Uh, but I love that you're uh, speaking your mind and you're not afraid to, to be yourself. You came on the Dr. Phil Live show once before in Los Angeles, and now here we are in Portland, and you said you got some beef uh, about that. You said that, that there's not enough women, and that, uh, well, why is that? I just think that women can do anything that men can do, right? Okay. <laughs> I, I don't disagree with you. Well, it's, I mean, well, it sounded like about 570 people did disagree with with you. But <laughs> yeah. About seven words. I thought Come on, Portland, Portland was, we're better than that. Yeah, I thought Portland is more progressive than that. <laughs> well, I will say this: nudity uh, with men is funnier, right? Will Ferrell gets naked yeah. for a movie; it's funny. A woman gets naked; it's it's not as funny, you know. It's a uh, unless it's Lizzo. Oh, 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 this guy. Hey, hey, who the fuck you pointing at, player? That <laughs> okay, okay. I still follow her on Facebook, so let's chill. Now, please come on the show. Now, I... Uh, I said it. What, what, what do you think, uh, what do you respond to that with? Oh. Nudity is funnier on men than women? I think nudity is just as funny on women. What do you guys think, huh? Sorry. I guarantee you've never seen that ever before, ever, in the history of ever. The okay, The okay. front row's we about to barf on the smell of my oh melted God, views. I just, smell, I just swallowed it all. Oh. We do that to each other all the time, St Stacy. so if you want to be in the club, you know what I'm saying. Okay, well, well uh, okay. shut the fuck up for a second, Danger. And quit right. lighting fucking pubes on fire for a second, please. I... Okay, well, that was, okay, that was kind of funny. <laughs> I, I, I've changed my course and I've uh, enlightened my tune to the idea that you, you that, was, that was good. I, I had to tuck my clit way back for that one. <laughs> Yeah, you, you barely, you almost couldn't see your balls from where I was standing. <laughs> but I appreciate your commitment to the craft and the art form. 
and you want to make tonight special. But I think that, you know, it, violence is another uh, component of comedy that sometimes gets, uh, that you, you, where, where men kind of take the higher, uh, the higher end of things, right? Men get hit in the nuts, right? Funny. Men get <laughs> smacked in the face with a turkey pot pie. Hilarious, right? But a woman, uh, a woman or, a, or a, a gaggle of women get shoved into a, a laundromat and then with, you know, buckets of cum get dumped on their face. That's not funny. That's just weird. Oh, oh. That's me. Hold on a second. I'm sorry. Did you get a phone call? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay. Oh, can I answer? Please, go for it. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm actually on Dr. Phil right now. I told you. Who is it? Uh, I can't believe you're getting a phone call, but take it. I, is it Pizza Hut? Yeah, no, hold on a second. Oh, you want to talk to Feminist Stacy? Really? You know that? Okay, here. It's for you, Feminist Stacy. It's a shocker. <laughs> it's a fake cell phone taser. Yeah, I put that together. So. It also has a flashlight, too, I think. What the so. fuck? Where the fuck did you? Who are you, Batman? Where'd you get that? No, yeah, I got it from okay. Batman. Okay, okay, now. Bruce Wayne. Now, now that, that was. See, that's noise. That was, um, that was funny as well. But how are you? Was that? I'm not gonna lie. That literally shocked the shit out of me. <laughs> I tried to stay on my feet, and it launched me over there. All right. Well, it's the real thing. I think I think there's only one way to settle this dispute. I want to play a game before we close this show out. Is that okay with you guys? I got one more game. Stacy, take a seat for me if your balls can handle it. I mean, your clit. Fuck, sorry. Or both. Your ball clit. Both. Uh, you look great. <clears throat> now. You okay, Stacy? I don't care. That was that was wild. That uh, okay. Uh, we're gonna play a game, okay, to settle this dispute uh, uh, about uh, if there should maybe be a female represented in the jackass world. And it's a, a game that I call "Do You Know Women," where we're gonna kind of quiz you guys on women. And if you get the uh, answer right, you're safe. If it's wrong, you get tased. Okay. Oh, uh, you guys want to play that's real good. quick? I get that. It's that's a fun fine. game. Oxen wants to play. Okay, Steven, hit me. Let's play uh, Do You Know Women. Hey, Dr. Phil, would you like to do the honors? Uh, okay. What do I... Yeah, Dr. Phil, do the honors? Come Dr. on, everybody. Well, yeah, you just push the button on this. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Here, All right, uh, here we go. <clears throat> uh, first question. Uh, this is for uh, this is for you, Stacy. Which uh, suffragist leader is often accused of perpetuating racism by deliberately excluding women of color from the fight for women's rights? Oh, you got this. <laughs> you you got uh, this. Janet Jackson. No, it's Susan B. Anthony. Yeah, you weren't even close. <laughs> we haven't practiced this. Are you okay? Oh my God, his lip, his lower lip is going like, like your I dance. Can, I can handle it just like one of the guys, you pussy. Okay. <laughs> or sorry, you dicks. Okay. All right. I like the, I like the uh, enthusiasm. All right. Uh, Danger Aaron, your yes. question. All right. How many feet do most women have? <laughs> I mean, are we on we're normal, right? Normal. Yeah. I'm going with two. That is correct. You're yes! Safe. Yes! I still have something left. Uh, Feminist Stacy. This woman died in 1988, broke many records in aviation, and was the first person to fly solo over the North Pole in 1971. She was also the first British woman to fly solo around the world in 1966. Name that woman. You definitely have this one. <laughs> no. Um, is it Amelia Earhart? Yeah. No, it's Sheila Scott. No, Amelia. <laughs> Amelia Earhart died a long time ago. Oxen, you want to do this one? Come yeah. on up, bud. Come on up. 
So you just, you hold that down and then you hold it towards, don't do it in the heart, okay? Like, truly don't, do not fuck it up. Cause just don't, okay? Cause we'll kidnap your family and, and fuck your grandma, okay? So that top button and just a little bit on the arm, okay? Just hold it down for about a second and a half on the arm whenever you're ready. Okay, 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 okay. I'll take that, I'll take that. Holy shit. All right. Yeah, Austin going full Marty. Right. Uh, let's get, uh, yeah, you, yeah, go back down that way. Is that cool? Guys, one more time. Jesus. Uh, holy shit. That was, um, that was. If that wasn't a that minor, was I would I would have just beat the shit out of that. <laughs> holy. I would have. Oh. I'm sorry that happened to you, Stacy. <laughs> Austin, come on, dude. I said hit the arm. Went for the dick. He tried to tase your dick. Austin! Let him tase me. Let him actually tase me. Oh, yeah. Tase in the Austin. ass? Top button. Top button. Top button. No, don't get so scared. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't do it. Top button. Top button. Top button. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Smoke came out of that one. You know what? Oh, dude, your face was amazing. You know what? You're making a mockery of Oxen right now. What do you mean? You're making a mockery. This kid came out here with his parents to have a good time, and you were like, taste my butthole like a fucking psycho. He, yeah, he, that's some weird He whispered that that was his make-a-wish. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, you're that much closer to getting on the show, though. I really, that's, that's the kind of shit we need. It might be the shit you need, but it's not the type of bullshit I want to see right now. Oh my gosh. This is a show about family and communicating, and this show's all about luck. And right now, you might be the most unlucky person in Portland, Oregon. I think I've had enough of your shit. Whoa, Stacy. Stacy. Coming out here. That's the first time really? you feel alive in Portland, Oregon, and you're fucking making a mockery of this fucking I'm stage. Not making a mockery you're making a mockery. I'm I'm had I've had enough. I've had enough. Really you show your book. Okay. Stay down. I'm sorry you guys had to see that. 